Now the live version. Hey guys, welcome to Kimmy Haven. Come on in. All right. Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, Silver Stackers. Hello, Coin Roll Hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven and Little Penny Haven. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. So I wanted to do this video all weekend and somehow I came down with chronic hiccups. I had hiccups for four hours on Saturday and three hours on Sunday. And that is not fun. It's funny for a little bit, then it gets to be very much not funny. My voice is still kind of wrecked from it because having hiccups for that long, you'll, you'll start to lose your voice. Anyhow, all good now. And so I'm ready to tear into this coin grab bag made specifically for me by T of Marley and T. I hopefully you know this channel already. I'm going to have all of her information down in the description. She makes personalized coin grab bags for a bunch of people and she does a fantastic job. And the last time she made one for me, she knocked it out of the park and I have no doubt that she has done it again. So let's get down to it. And I have my little assistant here, Little Penny Haven. Oh, now you're a big penny haven? Yeah. <laughs> you are you are a big dude. All right. So you're going to hand me the first package? Oh, and he wants to show off his oh. Skeleton bat. All right. Here's the first package. Thank you, sir. You can please sit down over there. We'll get back to you in a minute. Okay. So the first bag says uh, can't wait to see you open everything. Thanks again, T. I say it like that. She, she put a lot of T, a lot of E's in it. So, says thank you, Penny Haven. Grazie, merci. Uh, Kitos. I don't know all the languages, but all right. First off, nice. A 1969 Jerusalem typeset. That is very cool. I do love coins from Israel. There they are. Very cool. I love to have this. Uh, so now I have a perfect specimen set for this. So, yeah. If I have duplicates or circulated ones, I don't really need to hold on to them. Because I don't stack non-precious foreign coins. So this is a great thing to have. There we go. Let's see what else was in there. Ah, it's, uh, wow. Got everything with it, even the little protective paper. Love that. You gotta love that. All right. So that's the first bag out of the way. Right. Look at that. She didn't even pull the tape. I will reuse this bag because any reseller would tell you you gotta reuse anything you can. Okay. Now on to the next one. Hey, little Penny Haven. Can you need him? I'm sorry, Big Penny Haven. Can you hand me the second one? All right, you even knew what I was gonna ask for before I got here. You wanna say anything to the people before I break into the second one? Yeah. What do you wanna say? You wanna show what we made? Yeah, I'm show it. Show, show the little necklace. Here. It's a work necklace. It, it's for when I do science. It's for when he does science. Uh, little or big Penny Haven and I, uh, we went out of my workshop. We've kind of turned it half into his science lab. He's got a little lab. He's got a little science ke little chemistry set. And we've done a lot of fun stuff out there this past weekend. And we made this little necklace for him. There you go, bud. All right. Two. It says pull tab. Love it. Once again, a reusable bag. Okay. Ooh, that is cool. It's on a, on a card. It's got a lot of information here. Oh my gosh, it's an ancient, looks to be an ancient silver coin, but uh, 8th century Kabul. Wow. It says the front of the coin shows a bull, the symbol of the god Shiva. Love it. Look, buddy. Another coin with an animal. 
This one's good. What the zebra? Is there a zebra on there? No, a bull and a horse. What? Zebras look kind of like a horse. Me. I know you do. It says the back of the coin depicts a king mounted on a horse. That's very cool. An ancient silver. I did not. I don't have any ancient silvers yet, so I guess now I do. There's that. And this, I did peek into a couple of these packages a little bit, and I saw this, which I'm super excited about, and it is in great shape. It says the silver crowns of Great Britain and Ireland, and it is so cool. It's got pictures and descriptions for just centuries of crowns and crown, uh, crown size coins. Wow. Charles, Charles II. Wow. Gorgeous. Uh, King George, and then this has got the familiar looking reverse, the cross, crossed shields. Ah, and there's St. George slaying the dragon uh, with a George the Fourth obverse. So this is very cool. Ah, and the bank dollar. I'm going to be doing a video on these bank dollars uh, pretty soon. A very cool thing about these is they were repurposed, restruck eight reals. So the Bank of England just had all these eight reals and they restruck them with George III and this uh, one dollar bank token design. Very cool. And I have uh, one of this crown. Victorian crown and the widow's head crown I have those. There we go. Very cool. Wow. And then just, yeah, there's so much here. I'm not going to go through all of it, but some Irish hammered coins. That's very cool. Okay. I want to move on. And a Canadian small sense Whitman bookshelf style album. So, and she says, uh, I know it's not the best shape and may need a few replacement slides, but hey, it was cheap. And I do have this size replacement slide, so that's no problem at all. Plus, I know you like the ugly coins, so I assumed you wouldn't mind an ugly album. And you're right. It is not in bad shape. No. So, I have some of the Whitman folders for these small scents, so I will be making a video where I transfer those over to this updated, upgraded Whitman bookshelf album. So thank you for that. Okay, Big Penny Haven, you're up. Third package. You threw it. Good check, Daddy. Thank you, buddy. All right. Okay, package number the third. I've turned my fan off in the office whenever I do these videos, and it starts to get a bit warm. So, unless you want to see me start doing these videos in tank tops, which I don't think you do, yeah, I just got to try to do them quick. Here we go. Oh. I had bid on one of these a while back and I did not get it, and this is in nicer shape than the one I bid on, so pretty dang pleased to see this. It's an 1837 hard times token. It says, I take the responsibility. And on the reverse is a donkey. The Constitution as I understand it. And it says, Roman firmness. And she knows I like tokens. So I lived in Chicago for a good number of years. And I believe she knows this. So this is a Paradise Club a token. Good for five cents in drinks. Won't get you very far these days. Uh, Fujio, mind your business. 1961 says, the USA ought to rely on their own virtue. The four cardinal virtues depicted on the first coin of the United States. Very, very cool. Fortitude, prudence, uh, temperance, and what does that say? It says, defic deficit? Oops, I don't know what that fourth one says. Very cool. This is very great. Ah, this 
she hit on something cool here. Um, so this is like arms and armor of Kings of England, uh, Royal Armories, Tower of London, both of them on the reverse. So this suit of armor belonged to King Henry VIII. And I've actually seen this suit of armor at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, where I lived in New York City for a while as well. And they have a permanent exhibit uh, called the Arms and Armor exhibit, and it's fantastic. And they have this suit of Henry VIII's armor. So that's a really cool piece, I love it. That's right up my alley. Good job again. T, 1856, Netherlands, East Indies. Nice. Cool copper piece. 1856, France. Deux centimes. It's a nice shape. Here's a, uh, I think it's 1881 fish scale. Canadian five cent and a uh, Canadian dime. Also running some books on those, so maybe, maybe I'll have a place for those. A Philippines U.S. minted ten centavos. This one minted in Denver. Oh, this is very cool. I don't have this, but I do collect anything that pertains to this specific uh, design. This is the Canadian victory nickel. So the, uh, the deal with this was, this was minted, I think, 1943 to 1945 in Canada. And originally it had Morse code around the outside that said, we win when we work willingly. So I have another commemorative that's a colored commemorative. So this is going to go right into line with that collection. Awesome. Uh, 1903, a Canadian fish scale. Edward VII, I love Edward VII coins. So this is a 20 centavo Philippines, US issued silver coin, 1944. And it looks like a D, it looks like another Mint. Canadian large cent, 1920, large date. Does it delineate between large, uh, large date and small date? If it does, that's great to know and to have. And, and 1944 S 50 centavos, another Philippines coin. Royal Australian Mint, $10 uncirculated coin, State Series 1986. Uh, the South Australian Jubilee 150, so this is the Canberra coin. There we go. It's pretty cool. Proof. Oh wow, this is sterling. Oh, sweet. A sterling silver Australian proof. Very cool. I do also collect Australian coins. All right, last bag. Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> Fantasy Pattern Crown. Wow, that's very cool. That's a Welsh Dragon on the reverse. Oh, wow. That is that is awesome. A little Victoria. The Welsh Dragon on the back. Wow. Yes, this is definitely going into my permanent collection. <laughs> Another Fantasy Crown. This one with George the <laughs> Third. Looks like she was very, very happy to have found this one because it's Sierra Leone. There's a lion on the back. Oh, it's a beautiful coin. And my barber, I grew up in Sierra Leone and she's given me stuff in the past that, out of that first coin grab bag to give to him. I don't think he watches my videos. He's kind of already in love with this coin. Might not be able to let this one go. We'll see. Thank you for that. A 1935 George V Florin. I'm working on a Florin book right now, so I'll have to check for that. And a 1920 Florin. Also check the book for that. 
1928S Buffalo Nickel. Ah, this is a one quarter Balboa. I love Panama Balboas. And then here's a half Balboa. Ooh, that one is very striking. This is awesome. This is going to go right into my US typeset. This is a shield nickel, which I absolutely needed. And it was one of the things, the top things that I mentioned to her. An 1870 shield nickel. This is going to go right into my uh, typeset, my early US typeset. It's in beautiful shape. It's dark with uh, slightly lighter features. I love it. It's beautiful. Whew. Yeah. This, I don't see my, I don't see myself upgrading the, from this in that album. So this is probably going to be my permanent shield nickel. It's in beautiful shape. Thank you so much, T, for all these wonderful coins, especially for that one. All right. Now let's see if we can get little Penny Haven back in here to say goodbye. Hey. Hey, big Penny Haven. You want to say goodbye to everyone? Bye. Say... Bye from Penny Haven. Bye from Penny Haven. Woo! Ooh, you're not happy. Can I have a hug? Oh, I love you, Bobby. Mwah. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to, to uh, T. And of course, I'll have all of her information down below, and I'll have a link to the first grab bag I got from T. And thank you. To my Penny Haven channel members, thank you to my Patreon supporters. This is Michael from Penny Haven. Happy hunting.